And now, the general weather around Alaska. Starting off looking at the uh, fire weather graphic here, we've got red flag warnings out for a big portion of the central and eastern interior, south of the Brooks Range, down into the Alaska Range. And that's out for high fire danger, warm temperature due to warm temperatures and lowering humidities and drier conditions. And this is out uh, through the 4th of July weekend. And from there, looking at the fire danger forecast for Wednesday, extreme expanding here quite each day. We're gonna see the extreme fire danger for spruce expanding here over the central interior areas from the Yukon Flats into the Koyukuk and uh, very high fire dangers into the Kobuk Valley. And of course, down in the Tanana Valley, that area increasing as well. Also some increasing fire danger here over the Northern Kenai Peninsula and on into the Susitna Valley. From there, looking at uh, satellite imagery, uh, low pressure area with a front here over the southwest part of the state, uh, keeping it drenched over Bristol Bay today and lighter rainfall amounts up to the northwest here in toward Norton Sound. Otherwise, dry conditions and sunshine and very warm temperatures this afternoon, rising in the 70s and lower 80s through the interior, and some areas even higher than that, with uh, sunshine breaking out down into the Copper River Basin, northern Cook Inlet. Clouds uh, pushing northeastward here into the, uh, at least to Kenai, and a little bit farther to the north with some light precipitation into the southern Cook Inlet area, but very light conditions there. Upper level low pressure keeping that cloudy, showery, and cool over the southeast coast today, but uh, rainfall amounts starting to diminish there and will continue to do so over the next couple of days. And out here to the west, the next front uh, still way far out here to the west and northwest of the area. And for tonight, that'll put, make a uh, push to the east here, bringing some rain into Shimmy and Attu and some moisture also making some IFR flying conditions into the uh, central west central Aleutian areas with uh, drizzle and light rain, but the main rain area back toward the front there to the west, a break in between that system and the uh, complex low here off the southwest coast, keeping it wet over the Yukon Cuscombe Delta area, especially the uh, southern Yukon Delta, all the way down into Kodiak Island. Periods of rain continue into tonight and some of that moisture still up into Southern Cook Inlet, Homer, Soldovia, chance of some light rain there, maybe a few showers toward Montague Island, but the interior dry with light winds, isolated thunderstorms diminishing here over the Eastern Alaska Range and uh, cloudy with showers for the Southeast Coast and for tomorrow. Still a lot of leftover shower activity here over the Southeast coastal areas, but uh, rainfall amounts will be lighter tomorrow than what they were today and still have chance of some showers for the North Gulf Coast. Pretty light though. And then afternoon scattered and isolated thunderstorms over the central eastern Alaska range, maybe down into the Talkeetna Mountains. Otherwise sunny and very warm. Highs in the 70s and mid 80s here over the interior, all the way up to the Arctic coast. Nice warm conditions there. Periods of rain with that slow moving front, although it is weakening here over Bristol Bay, but holds together enough to keep it wet and unsettled in that area with uh, some light rain continuing throughout the day for Kodiak and then dry for the uh, central Bering Sea here from St. Lawrence Island, actually the Chuck CC all the way down to the central Aleutians. And that front up slowly pushing some rain eastward, but not too far there, still uh, barely making it to Adak Island, but stays wet to the Shimia at two area. And then for the outlook on Thursday, that system, a new load develops along that front, pushes it eastward here with some rain now, pushing in across into the eastern Aleutians with uh, wet conditions and showers back toward Adak and Atka, and increasing chances of rain for the Pribilof Islands late in the day, probably holding off there until Thursday evening, but the eastern Bering Sea northward here to the Chukchi Sea remaining dry, and a narrow band of some isolated thunderstorm activity here from the Copper River Basin over the mountains, Eastern Alaska Range, across the Talkeetnas, Northern Sitna Valley, Denali Park, across the Northern Cuscombe Valley, all the way out to the Nolato Hills there. Otherwise to the north, sunny, very warm, highs upper 70s to mid to upper 80s here in the interior. And uh, just a shade cooler than that for the North Slope with some nice conditions all the way out to the Arctic coast with good sunshine up in that area. Also mostly sunny here for the Kenai Peninsula and Cook Inlet area. 
North Gulf Coast dry, scattered showers with uh, partly sunny conditions for the southeast coast. So a little better there, but still some lingering shower activity around and uh, stays uh, kind of damp there for Kodiak Island, but uh, be more of a on and off light rain shower condition there, but definitely cloudy skies and on the cool side. And then that breaks out, maybe some sunshine for Kodiak on Friday and uh, still some isolated afternoon thunderstorms developing over the mountains train of the Copper River Basin into the Talkeetnas, up toward Denali Park again, and then to a lesser extent back to the west. Sunny highs in the uh, upper 70s to uh, upper 80s here over the interior, all the way up to the Arctic coast there. And a isolated shower with uh, partly to mostly sunny skies for the southeast coast. This front really washing out here, bringing uh, some rain into the Alaska Peninsula, but it won't be heavy. And showers and areas of light rain for the central eastern Aleutians. A lot of uh, low clouds, fog and drizzle here for the uh, Bering Sea, uh, resulting in IFR flying from the Aleutians all the way up to St. Lawrence Island. <clears throat> And for the uh, lows tonight, mostly in the 50s here in the central interior, some 30s there, central and eastern Arctic coast, upper 40s, lower 50s, southern Alaska, mid 40s out toward the uh, southwest coast, and uh, 40s for the Aleutians, 40s to lower 50s for the Panhandle. Highs tomorrow, as I've mentioned here, upper 70s to mid 80s over the interior from the Brooks Range down to the Alaska Range into the northern Kuskokwim Valley. Cooling into the 60s here over the southwest interior and the southern Kuskokwim Valley area, Seward Peninsula. But highs on the north slope there, 70 to 80 with uh, Dead Horse forecasting 75 for the high and about the same here for Gulkan and the Copper River Basin. 60s to mid 70s, south central Alaska and uh, upper 50s to mid 60s for the southeast coast. Lows uh, right around 50 for the Panhandle Thursday morning. And again in the 50s, mid to upper 50s through the interior. Ambler maybe staying above 60, 61 for the low there. About the same or no change up here for the North Slope, Arctic coast, 30s and 40s there, 40s out here to the west. And the highs on Thursday afternoon, you can see uh, Warming, getting a little farther to the west here, pushing up towards 70 now, the inland areas of the uh, yukon Kuskokwim Delta area. So a little cooler, 50s along the coast, 40s out over the Bering Sea and the Aleutians, with highs here in the uh, mid 80s over the central interior and uh, into the mid 70s in the Susitna Valley, 60 to 75, or 65 to 75, Kenai Peninsula area, and for the uh, southeast coast into the 60s.